Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reef. It may be absolutely freezing here today in Melbourne, but we're gonna go check out some incredibly hot corals at Aquamarine Aquaristic. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reef. Today, we are going back to one of my favorite stores in Victoria, if not the country, Aquamarine Aquaristic. Now, I love this shop for a number of reasons. First and foremost, they have some ridiculous display tanks. And secondly, and probably most importantly, they have a huge range of very, very high-end corals. They've got a whole range of corals, don't get me wrong. But if you like SPS or you like incredibly high-end LPS, you're going to have an absolute ball at Aquamarine Aquaristic. And I dropped in there right when the owner, Jacob, was there so I could mic him up and he could give us a tour through the entire shop. So it's probably not much more to uh, preface the video than to jump into it, whack a microphone on Jacob and tour Aquamarine Aquaristic. All right, here we are at Aquamarine Aquaristic. We're gonna head on in and see the man himself behind the door here, Jacob, the owner of Aquamarine Aquaristic. He's gonna take us through the entire shop Show us what's happening here, what uh, some future plans are, and of course, some of the incredible corals and dry goods they got for sale. So let's jump into it, man. Where should we start? Uh, well, I guess we should start from our uh, refresh display tank over yeah, here. Yeah, sure. So that tank, was we set it up uh, about since 2020. Yes. And after like two years, two, uh, three years of time, we, we just think uh, it's probably it's time to just get some refresh. Sure, sure. And we decided to bring in the the new sump. Yeah, the new, yeah. The, whole, the brand new filtration system, which comes from Cove. Yes. And we just everything Cove, like we got the schemas, we got the reactors, we got the sump, and we even got that nice and neat power stations. Yeah, super fancy. Yeah. Fits on the end of that tank perfectly. Yeah. And then I, apparently I did a uh completely new aquascape yes compared to the old one yes so the old aquascape was actually my first time building was my i was i was the first time using the branch rock to, to build the aquascape for the for the for the, for the old yes one. so there was a lot of things i didn't really like so, sure. so i improved a lot apparently i uh this scape uh, i mean I, that's like i've done a dozen of yeah, branch yeah. rocks scapes yep. um, much better than what it was so always this, get better as we go on yeah yeah so i i I feel like this is a this is this is a scape I really like. Well, man, to be honest, yeah. the first one you did was incredible. So to think that you're a dozen of these uh, pretty trademark style uh, branch aquascapes in now um, is just going to uh, pay dividends. I know it just once you get the SBS in there and it grows on it, it gets yeah. so much room for flow and growth and so many spots to stick frags. Which um, yeah. I mean, with everyone that's been aquamarine aquaristic knows that there's no shortage of high end SBS frags here. So. Once that tank's all settled in and you get some, well, I mean, you've already started to put some SPS in there, but yeah. once, once you get some frags in there and it's growing, it's going to just be on another level. I can't wait to see it. Thanks. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just, we just, uh, it's, the tank's only been running for like less than two weeks. Wow. I just decided to put some macros in there to get it out. <laughs> just to get it going. Yeah, it seems all right. Good to see. Now, yeah. that tank was full to the brim of coral. Can you tell us where that coral went when you uh, decided to refresh that tank? Ah, okay. So the story was when when they pulled this tank apart, I yes. was away. Yes. <laughs> and Jono pretty much uh, chipped all the uh, SPS off. I yes. put it like spread out in the shop, like throughout the shop. Them there in the, the other display, built in this uh, holding tank there. And yeah, then <laughs> when I got back, I had to pull the rocks out, and we, I, I managed to put all the rocks. So I didn't want to waste it in the back in the back SPS tank. Yeah, you guys nice. Will see nice. It later. Yeah. Very sweet setup. Well, maybe let's have a look at some of these other systems. I noticed we've got, we'll, we'll skip past this one because we'll go to this, this next display tank at the moment here. This yep. is a beast of a system. How big is this tank? Uh, it's three meters long. Yes. By one meters wide wow. and 700 wow. height. And those two tanks are plummet together. We okay, call nice. that, we, we named that as a, uh, we, that, that tank we call a three meter display because it's three meter long. <laughs> and that's an extension tank. <laughs> we call that three meter extension to pull all the Nagoni frags or whatever frags we wanted to pull. Very creative there. naming. Yeah. But uh, this three meter display tank, holy cow. This is full to the brim with uh, SPS, LPS, fish. Just crazy, crazy pieces in there. All looks so happy and healthy. Look at the, the polyp extension on these acros despite the um, tang is just making sure they're completely algae free just off the charts and then these are your trademark big 
huge uh, goni colonies here that the, the clownfish love to host in. Uh, I even noticed before, I'll put some footage on screen now, of some clownfish hosting in the goni frags up the other end of the tank, just in there living their best life. But um, it's so difficult to uh, focus in on any particular point on this tank because everywhere you look, there is a high-end piece thriving, which is so, so cool to see. And then, I mean, just on screen right now, we've got like, what have we got, five yellow tanks in there? There's possibly more, but there was just that many in the frame at one time. Uh, Achilles tang up the back there, powder blues, so holes, lipsticks, some sail fins, big Australian stripey, of course, becoming a staple in the industry. Some beautiful clowns, looks like a uh, uh, neon, uh, I've totally forgotten the name of the blue stripe fish up the end there. Just up by the goni here, this guy is a... Um, ah, yeah. I can't remember the name. Neither can I. <laughs> That's all good. Check out the blue on that stag, just singing away there. There's some really nice pinks. And um, speaking of nice colors, have a look at this uh, Monty here. It's meant to be a gold Monty, but the uh, green protein infection on that is just, it's almost taking hold. It's, it's got this crazy, chromey, goldy green color to it. Beautiful piece. And here's all these goni frags I was talking about. Probably not frags, probably uh, small mother colonies. Have a look at the variety in there. From all of your glitters to your uh, reds to your yellow tips to everything in between. Just gorgeous pieces. Little clam hiding up the back there. More clowns as far as the eye can see. Just a stunning, stunning tank. What's the, uh, I mean, I can't imagine there's plans to do much more to this tank other than just uh, let it be and do its thing. Yeah, we actually haven't, I actually haven't spent much time on this tank. Like, there's apparently a lot more room to fill in. Yeah. Yeah, but I just, uh, yeah, I've just been busy on other stuff. I just leave it, leave it alone, <laughs> let, it, let it grow out a bit. And once I find some nice piece, I might put it in. And this tank is the, we, it's, it's, a, it's a one of the most stable tank in the shop, and we don't really do much, which is do regular water changing. Wow. Feed massive amount of food. Yes. Probably Johnny can demonstrate you how much we feed them. Just, yeah, yeah. Just one time a day. Yeah. Johnny, have you got the food ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Johnny will get some food. Let's put that on the video. It's, it's going to be a, we'll get uh, some... he, he freaks me out when he done that this time. <laughs> Likes yeah. to make sure the uh, fish food companies are kept in business by uh, feeding this tank, which is super, super cool. And this system's now lit up by uh, refactory LEDs, I believe. Yep. We have 11 of them. Wow. Which is a bit of the odd number, but that's all the not like. Not like <laughs> that's, that's what's working. And I mean, it's clearly doing the job because yeah. every single corner of that tank is lit up and every single type of coral in there is responding really well from some things that are traditionally considered to be low light, like your gonies are, are got great extension despite the clownfish in there. And all of the SBS got great growth, encrusting, polyp extension, every single sign that you would want to see from healthy SBS, which is super, super cool. But um, we should talk about the, uh, the expansion tank, as it's yep. affectionately called, because there's some crazy pieces in here. Actually, this is where I saw the clownfish hosting in the uh, goni frags, the tequila sunrise frags in here. These two clowns just treat that like a massive mattress, just thrashing away. There they go in there, just enjoying life. And then you've got your super toxic bright pink gonies, you've got uh, your deeper purple gonies, you've got your green glitters, you've got your glitters, you've got your reds and pinks, so many different yeah. types of gonies. And then up this end, what are these ones called? These, oh, these are the fresh uh, tequila sunrise yep. frag. Yep. Yep. And these ones are actually to be re ready to frag again. Cause yeah, quite oh, they're completely grown over. Yeah, yeah, we can easily frag one, uh, at least two out of one frag. Yeah, or some even, like, we can frag it up to four. Yeah, yeah. And the, the ones on the top trays, Yes. Uh, the, our our high end yes, goni frags like amaze balls, red glitters, purple glitters, crazy nice. Yeah, and what? Prometheus. Prometheus. Yeah. Crazy nice. Yeah, it's that. Really, really liked it. Yeah, yeah. It's got a bit of yellow. Crazy on the nice. Beautiful. And then we've got this super unique piece in the front here. That's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven headed cynaria. Yeah, we're gonna bring it to restock. It hasn't fully opened up yet, but uh, it's just because it's morning, but it's yeah, gonna be huge. I managed to get here even before the doors are meant to open just to uh, keep all the staff on their toes and um, that piece is still opening up, but what, what an incredible one-off showpiece that is. You've got some super high-end torch up behind there as well, including a banana over there, I believe. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Then you've got some, uh, some uh, purple tips, some yellow tips, some solid greens. 
Moving on to some uh, crazy nice blasters up the back there. Rainbow Chalice, I even see Raja Rampage Chalice. Some nice uh, Space Invader Pectinia, and then, you know, we've got no shortage of hammers, and then it's hard to not look at those gonies when we walk past there, but no shortage of uh, crazy nice pieces in that tank. And those pieces, they're, they're currently for sale, or, or the yeah, ones that are already? Yeah, they're all for sale. All for sale, Everything's for sale. And so just want to show you guys uh, ex perfect examples of comparisons. Like that, that display tank has the fanciest fuel chasing <laughs> system, but this one has the most basic. Like it just run everything. You know, it doesn't have cable management. It's not clean. You know, it's got a fuzzy refugion under there <laughs> and salt built up everywhere. But doesn't matter. Does it does matter. the job. Whilst the team can absolutely hook you up with the latest and greatest and super beautiful code filtration, just goes to show that uh, you can run a tank like this, which I'd be sure that no one out there watching this channel would not love to have a tank like this. And uh, you can run that with pretty much the uh, most basic of filtration. I mean, you've got a good quality skimmer in there, but um, basically drain into, a, into the same chamber the skimmer's in, have a big skimmer, have a uh, basic fuse and uh, pump back up into the display. And uh, yeah, it cops a heap of food, which is pretty cool to see. And then, the display tanks don't end there. You've got one more very, oh, yeah. very special. Actually, I think there's more display tanks up the back, but uh, let's talk about this one first. Yeah, this one was actually just the idea we came up like overnight. So it was, <laughs> it was uh, using for our dash. Yes. And then we got another tank from a friend that the, the, the ones at the back end. Yes, he, yes. He, he just shut it down and, and doesn't want it anymore, so he just gave it to us. So we used that as a dash tank. <laughs> Move we the can dash talk up about there. that later. Yes. And then I was just thinking about why don't we just make another, you know, Ophelia display tank? Absolutely. It was going to be a hammer tank, but I would say why not? Why not some torch? So why not? Yeah, it, the scape took me half an hour. <laughs> Only three pieces of rock, branch rocks. That's all, it, all uh, in half an hour. That's all it took to me. And Gave it all your time and dedication. <laughs> yeah, and the, and we decided to go simple. The, the simple way is we plumb this tank back into the the big grow out tank at yes. here, the SPS tank. Yes. So we don't need to do another testing or water change. Yeah, that's it. We're just in one go. And you've got some pretty crazy euphilia in this tank. Really nicely laid out to get the nice contrast from all the colors. From your uh, solid golds to your uh, models, you've got uh, some blue tips with yellow stems. Of course, this crazy showpiece, the uh, gold stem with uh, purple, purple anchors on it. Got the uh, gold stem with blue anchors on it. That super bright, super toxic green there. The uh, really dark with a verging on yellow model. Those uh, purple uh, tip torches up there mixed in with the holy grail torch. In fact, oh, that's a banana torch. Banana torch. Yeah, same <laughs> as the ones we have in the Same as the one there, extensions. lovely. And then this piece is hiding in there too. This blue guy here, blue anchors with a green and gold stem. Man, that one's hidden down the back there. You barely see it till you look over the top. Just showpiece after showpiece and what a crazy assortment of um, you fill you in there and then you've got a nice little harem of clowns in there Australian stripey just making sure no Aptasia get in there you got a uh, Bangai Cardinal just some nice fish to keep a bit of movement in there just to keep the uh, torch looking in uh, the hammers and torch looking interesting super cool system and this one you've got uh, some radium blues and you've got a uh, reef flare reef factory um, reef flare on it which um, really making sure all those colors pop nicely super super cool now it wouldn't be a trip to Aquamarine Aquaristic without having a look at your uh, SBS grow out systems. Can you tell us what's happening in here at the moment? Uh, so, not much been going on. We've just been carting and we turn off flows for you guys to see easier. Yeah. And this tank normally has a pretty ridiculous amount of wave action going on. The, the, yeah. the water almost comes over the sides and um, it's been turned off so we can get this incredible top down look, which I got to say, the colors on screen are coming up really, really nice. There's some just two die for SBS in here. I love this piece here, the green and purple. The purple looks like it's, almost looks like a slime just taking over the acro, just just completely random patterns to it. This uh, Millie or Spath here is as copper as I've seen anywhere. The colors are just ridiculous. And then, I mean, it doesn't end. We've got uh, cherry bombs in the middle there. The colors of that are looking sensational. There's some Walt Disney's about. This piece is nice, this maroon and yellow. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. 
just beautiful pieces. And I love the way you've got these little... Um, Steep. These little, yeah, PVC pipes on some, uh, on uh, some uh, ceramic tiles just to get them up. Yeah, yeah, that's actually the acrylic rod we acrylic have. Acrylic rod, yeah. Yeah, the spare rod we have for these, uh, these trays underneath. Yes. Yeah, so we had extra, so we just <laughs> used use them on the... Just gives you acro. more room to put things in because you can have frags down the... Oh, frags, you can have colonies down the bottom and yeah. then some colonies up higher and it just makes yeah. sure they're not touching each other, keeps them planted and yeah. um, keeps them in the flow. And There's also, yeah, just that much of a height, you can raise the par by like about 100. Like yeah, true, tested. true. And just some, some like higher, like some doesn't like that much. You yeah. Know, just change it by the... <laughs> Fair enough to yeah, have a look at uh, these these four frags here. I can see the outline of four tiles oh. where, where they've just grown in together and become one. Yeah, that was one of my favorite. But it, <laughs> it doesn't grow that fast in here, this tank, compared yep. to the... Compared to the display. display yeah. Very, very nice piece. Just a nice Walt Disney sitting up there, getting some beautiful color to it. Yellows, purples, greens. Colors looking crazy nice. Very, very nice indeed. Got some nice uh, fireworks in here as well. Some nice variants. We've got purples, greens, blues, yellows. So many nice pieces. And then the fun doesn't stop there. I mean, you've got a second SPS grow out tank. <laughs> <laughs> this one here, which you won't be able to see from your side, but on my side here, there's some pretty nice bower banky chilling down here, which are uh, not part of the SBS grow out. The, all the bower, these are the, this, these are the ones I just put in that was not really happening in the other tank. Yes. And this one, the one thing I really want to show you is that bower banky. It started one from one polyp. See yeah, how wow. many got. Growing nicely. Yeah, it just grows super fast. In it's got a good design. five or six heads on it now, so that's, yeah. that's a good return. Yeah, even like the... Like these ones, yes. These four pieces they come from one mother colony. Yes, and they actually look a lot better under the the pure blue light. Yeah, you know the gold or whatever you call it, like the ultra grey bow banky. Definitely, and they've been having you know having small polyps growing out from Beautiful. the side. I really love them. They're just sensational, sensational colours. That's for sure. And then. Yeah. I mean, oh, there's another it? hundred Look. plus colonies in here just <laughs> doing their thing. We also have the frags in the display. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Nice. That's that beautiful Monte Denae, which is almost as green as it is gold. <laughs> the yeah. protein infections just yeah. uh, running amok on that one. Yeah. And just wanted to show you guys out one of our trademark is we call it Zappo. EME Zappo. What's this one called, sorry? Zappo. Zappo, yes, yes. I do have a frag of this at home. Beautiful color colony there. It's got that real, it's got a green base to it, but then it's got this beautiful coppery color to it. Yeah. Just um, stunning piece. I love the way that it's just completely encrusted over that large tile there and it's giving it a good footprint to just keep on going. Mm, what else specials we can show you guys? Yeah, too many. That's <laughs> <laughs> too many pieces. Absolutely. Yeah. And crazy color on all of them too, just piece after piece, just singing, got beautiful fox flame there. So many nice pieces, whether they're named or not, just uh, absolute stunners. That's actually one of my favorite tenders in the shop. That's beautiful. That's a bit of pink. Yeah, really nice. Green, blue, just unique. Beautiful, beautiful. So much nice color in there. Really, really nice. I love the uh, the brightness of this piece here, the green with the purpley pink yep. tips. We got, uh, that's a Vivid Confetti. Vivid Confetti, stunning, stunning piece. And no shortage of stunning pieces. There's just one after the other in here. They go on for days. But um, these pieces here, for people wondering at home, this, this is the grow out system. I mean, there's obviously some frags in there as well, but this is the grow out system where the frags are cut from mm -hmm. and then you get them to encrust. Yep. Um, and well, people can either buy them as fresh cuts or they can, or uh, wait for it to encrust and uh, settle in and then uh, bring it home there. But uh, any of these pieces here are all available. You just got to speak to the team at AMA and um, they will get that sorted out for you. So crazy amount of SPS to look through, but behind you, there's some more systems that have got some things other than SPS in them. Yep. So we, this tank is apparently the Alzoa tank, the Blossom yes. tank. Yes. Yeah, like something we, do, yeah, everything's for sale. And down here, just some random, random stuff we put in here, like L, mostly LPS. Yes. And that one is the Monty tank, which sometimes we really hate it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it just grow too fast. And we, 
take out all the space. <laughs> yes, the multi tank's got no shortage of uh, encrusting pieces in there, and it's it's encrusting well. It's <laughs> yeah, it just encrusts. All it does is encrust. <laughs> and like whether they be high end pieces or more common pieces, we've got like uh, tickled pink in there, and you can see the Monty Alepto Pavona. Etc. Yeah. 60 a piece or three for 150 dollars. Yeah. Really nice, but if you're looking for some bright colored encrusting corals, plenty in there. And just some random LPS down here as well, all, yeah. to, all available. And that's all the torches we got. The WA green torch over there on the top tank. Craziness. So there's some nice hammers, frog spawns, candy canes, chalice, galaxia, all available in that system. And then up here, we've got the, the torch torch just uh, in there waiting for you to bag them up and take them home yep. and this tank is our uh, packing tank uh, online order packing LPS yeah uh, nice nice tank. just so keep the things yeah. so you got quick access to them to put them in bags and boxes yep. and send them off around the country and then uh, we should come and have a look at uh, this system here which is just full of SBS frags yeah what this can you is, tell us this is a uh, Jonah's tank he doesn't <laughs> want anyone else to, to touch it <laughs> <laughs> John is over there watching very yeah. nervously as we have a look at his uh, SBS yeah. frag tank. But so, uh, yes, please tell the story. So these tank or frags yes. and the yellow, the bright uh, yellow tags over here we just put in the last night. Yes. And that's a new tag we just got with, with numbers on it. And these are the all online, online frags. Yes. And we'll be uploading them by probably uh, hopefully by tonight. Yeah, nice, yeah, nice. That's 300 something. Okay. So this gives you the ability to do the what you see, what you get. You actually take a picture of individual frags and people can actually see the number on there. I'll get some footage so you can see from the top down the actual individual number of each piece so you know that what you're seeing online is what you are getting in person. And um, I mean, these pieces, they, I mean, they range from some uh, basic frags through to your uh, ultra high end stuff. Yep. Whether they be named, whether they be wild uh, collected yep. stuff, you've got a huge variety in here. Yep. We have frack stuff from $10, you know, like what we call that, NQR pack, right? Don't it? Oh, uh, no, we do NQR packs for like stuff that just discolors a little bit. Yep. But there's so much frags that it's hard to put every single frag exactly where it needs to go. Yes. So sometimes they get a little bit less love, so people get them for a cheap, cheap deal. People willing to put a bit of TLC in? I just pick through like the ones that are looking that good but I know they'll come up good if they're yep. well and you get them for cheap. Yeah, yeah. nice, nice. No, oh, fantastic. Oh, this tank, I mean this is a tank that you could spend, literally you could spend up to an hour or more just looking at the pieces because at a quick estimate there's probably around, a f probably nearing a thousand frags in here and a huge variety of pieces. Some of them, I mean we've got like grafted sunfire cap here um, through to some basic green colonies. Have a look at these. Uh, these are beautiful colored SBS frags there. Through to your uh, Echinadas, into some of your uh, Millie's baths down here. We've got uh, TNT, we've got uh, some Rainbow Galaxia, we've got green goblins over there. And then a whole heap of the AMA signature frags over here, as well as some other ones. Whatever you're chasing, the AMA website's most likely gonna have it. And if they don't, of course, you can reach out to the team and they can frag it up for you. And, um, or if they don't have it, which I would be very surprised, but if they don't, they can track it down for you. Yep. But um, the, the range here is absolutely ridiculous. So check out the website or even better, come in store and have a look at what's, um, what's, what's there. I just noticed as I was walking to the next tank, this little uh, harem of some, uh, looks like some black storm clowns in there. These are the homebrew storm clowns. And Karen's out over there, we show you guys later. Yes. And yeah, there was about uh, eight months ago, the parents laid eggs and we brought the eggs to one of our friends who breeds clownfish. Yes. And yeah, eight months later, we got all, all the babies back. Got the little Not babies, all the babies back. back. He, he kept some, but. Yeah, yeah, but oh, I mean, you got plenty there. And I love the uh, collection of glasses there for uh, uh, folks who want to really get the colors popping and see what's available. Yeah. I'll just have a quick look down this side of the um, frag tank because People need to see the colors in here and you'll also get a better look at the uh, tag system. That's a better way to see the numbers. We can then look online and see the, uh, the specific piece that you're looking at. And um, you know, that's the one you're gonna get in the mail a couple of days later. And yeah, the numbers go on and on and on. No shortage of pieces, but uh, there's even more tanks. We've got another couple of uh, big systems here to have a look at. Yep. 
What well, can you tell us about this system, Jacob? This system is our online LPS tank. So everything here is online. You can wow. find all the you can find all the pricing on Incredible. our website. And yeah. Okay, and we've got some, I mean, some big pieces in here. Look at these big colony, huge, big showpiece of hammers in there, frog spawns. We've got Lobos, leathers even. There's some nice leathers over there. Got uh, all sorts of torches, Duncans. We'll have a look at the colors of some of these hammers. Very, very nice. Fungiers, Helio Fungiers. Some gorgeous gold hammers here. Have a look at the bright red. Cynarias, some of the uh, different colored Cynarias, some beautiful uh, gonies there, some pretty high-end Recordia there. Have a look at these guys, beautiful Blastos, Montes, some uh, Patchy Scepters, I believe. Got some Space Invader Pectinia, really nice Blastos. Even got some crazy nice uh, Morphs there. Firework Clove Polyps, Torches, Elegance, more Leathers no shortage of pieces at all and then we've got another grow out system that's not a technically a grow out system it's just sps tank just sps tank yeah we sell the colonies out here and that that, that the rock in the middle is the the ones we pulled off from the old display from the old display yep yep, yep. but we haven't really spent time on it like there's a lot of things we need to glue right now we just ran them yeah yeah the no, there's some big pieces in here too so yep. people looking for a big showpiece SBS colonies can come here. I mean, there's some smaller pieces as well. We've got some, you know, like some smaller pieces in here just doing their thing growing out, but some of these pieces are uh, bigger than my head. <laughs> yeah, and that scrolling monte is available if someone is interested. It's someone from, uh, from our OC split. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. And one of the healthiest looking mangroves I've seen up the end here. Ah, yeah, yeah. Believe it or not, we tried a, a few mangroves. That's the only one survived for some reason. <laughs> they, they're a difficult beast to keep, but that one's got some nice lush leaves on it and um, yeah. seems to be doing really, really well in there. So that's cool to see. Yeah. Very, very nice. And check out some of the uh, Montes on the other side there. Holy moly, those colors are bright. Gorgeous stags. Even the leather in there, that big Monty we talked about. This beautiful, uh, interesting sort of smooth skin acro in there. This big uh, fish here, the big tang, he's coming to protect his patch. What yeah. a beast of a fish. A Duzamari is about, uh, I've had it for eight years. Beautiful fish. And look at these colonies, man. Super, super gorgeous. Look at that stag up here. Crazy nice, crazy nice. Really cool pieces. And then we've got another couple of little uh, recent additions and in, in some display tanks up here. Oh, uh, well, not a display tank, just, uh, but it's in, it's we still sell since like everything's available here. everything for sale sure yep. sure so all available whether we're looking at um, so this is our nem tank or oh, got a bit of other things like a few a, a, a bit of the most fluffiest levels <laughs> we have and we got a mini maxi rock yeah the mini maxi rock's pretty cool there's some crazy colors at the back here from the orange and the red and then there's yeah. blues there's some gorgeous clowns in there and a yeah. crisper is it uh that's Crisp and nems in there. Got a tube worm. Okay. Sorry, a tube and enemy up there. I'll just and turn then, off the flows in here. Yeah, no trouble. Here, yeah, gorgeous tube up there. And then. Oh, the dash is under here. Just yeah. a couple of crazy nice dash. With some more of the uh, clowns in there. Have a look at this solid red guy. That's just ridiculously bright. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Even got some dash frags in there, I see. Oh, yeah, we just recently just tried them. Uh, about a week ago, and they already healed up. Wow, it's doing really well. That's cool. It's just, just curious, you know, we don't know how long it's going to take to make it full circle again. For sure, yeah, fair <laughs> enough, too. Yeah, it's just uh, one of the things we, we wanted to test, and that's uh, one of our very special orange bounds. Beautiful piece, very, very nice. Nice recorder in behind it, that lovely showpiece orange scenario in there and a great assortment of dash, just amazing pieces. Those clownfish are living their best life in there, no doubt about it. Look at this one here, it's almost like a two-tone. He's got red down one side and then just only the splashes are red on the other side. And these big guys at the back here just uh, stretching out, looking incredible. Very, very nice pieces. Now, we've gone through no shortage of uh, livestock here, yep. heaps and heaps of corals, but 
Akamori and Akarusik have recently expanded out with a whole heap of shelving along here yep. to bring in a heap of new uh, dry goods for uh, customers yep. that are uh, looking to make this their one-stop shop. Can you tell us uh, what sort of stuff you've got in and what you're carrying now? Uh, so now we've got uh, the Cove. Yes. We uh, believe we're the only distributors in Australia who sell coves right yes. now. We've got all the cove skimmers and, and coves products. Beautiful. And, you know, we've got fish food, we've got supplements, calcium, alkalinity, and that's our own yes. uh, scrubber media, CO2 scrubber media. This is the CO2 scrubber media I run myself. I love the yeah. stuff, great value. Um, its color change is super distinct and um, yeah, it just yeah. helps bring that pH up nicely. And also another brand is we like to introduce is uh, Red Starfish. Yes. They're very well built and affordable price. Yes. For what they are and they, they, have, they come in all, diff all kind of sizes, which is all different sizes of schemas. And we got an algae reactor, we got a phosphate reactor, fish box, you know, we got uh, dosing containers as well, that's from there. Yes, yes. Yeah, all sort of accessories. Like all elements. the range, all the dosing yeah. line holders. So yeah, from your cove to your red starfish, all of the items in there. And then of course, all your supplements, you've got aquaforest yeah. in there, you've got uh, the reef factory, smart components, coral essentials, plenty of, plenty of items in there. And then of course, you get some other items too, like some uh, the uh, fauna marine phosphate 0.04, Got uh, your wave makers, uh, UV sterilizers, got the uh, Kamala dosing pumps, all your HANA checkers, got uh, the Dr. Tim's range, got some Orphec lights here, and of course, no shortage of rock. If you want to have a go at building a rockscape yourself or you want to, uh, yeah. you want to uh, uh, contract the man himself to build you a crazy branching scape, you can uh, come in here and get it all done at Aquamarine Aquaristic. Yeah, yeah, we still need to do a bit of organizing and we have, it's not fully done yet. Not fully done, still more shelving to go yeah. to fill out even more dry goods. And right now we've got all the plumbies now. It's, our, it's a different different brand of plumbing that's yeah, what nice. we're using the display. Yes. And they're much more affordable price. Yeah, beautiful. And it comes in three colors. Uh, actually, so the pipe comes in red, red and orange and gray yes and the feeding comes with white and gray oh thanks Jono <laughs> white and gray yes and oh, we've got it all in display over there yeah the nice if you want to so this it. is all the uh, din size plumbing that yeah. um, uh, you find in all your modern tanks yeah uh, yeah like metric size almost. yes that's all the feedings on display for now yeah nice check that's a very nice gate valve beautiful gate valve nice sleek handle on it and there's a highlight up there <laughs> Don't worry about that later. That check valve, yes, it's one of the best check valves I've used. It will, ne it will never fail. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, unlike the other one we used, we fly in the shop once with uh, <laughs> power outage. An evolution on the check valve, always handy to see. And you can see from all your different sizes, we've got uh, 45 bends, 90 bends, T's, <coughs> unions, check valves, gate valves, ball valves. And then uh, what do we get down here? That's uh, reducers. Yeah. Handy. So, so we, the reducers we have, they comes in seven different variations. And yes. It's, so if you want to reduce from 50 mu to 25 mu or 20 mu, you don't have to buy you know, a don't few have different. To, don't have to stack them together. You yeah, can just yeah. go one size to the next. Yeah. Beautiful, super, super handy. And again, that's all DIN size. You've even got the, uh, the pipe clips here so you can keep it all neat and tidy in your cabinet. You've got all the primer and glue all the bits one would need and um, as touched on it is yeah. coming in at a very competitive price point That's compared to some other alternatives there's the pipe and of course you can see that all utilized in the fresh fit out here of the uh, beautiful cove set up here with all of these check valves you can see them in there the pipes the elbows all hard plumbed in even the pipe clips everything to get that set up and of course the team here can help you get ah. that all happening if someone looking for a big map schemas <laughs> <laughs> Red starfish have got some beasts here. Big, big units. These are, uh, that's a good five foot tall skimmer there. Uh, probably more than that. Ah, uh, not too sure. Uh, more than five foot. It's rated for at least 20,000 20, liters. Yeah, which wow. Which can run the whole shelf, pretty much. Well, I'm five, six. Stand next <laughs> yeah. and I think it's bigger than me. Uh, All right, so it's at least five, six, it's got an five. inch or two on him, so it's five, eight then. Yeah. <laughs> and Almost these, six foot. And this one is ST400 Pro. Yes. And we would, I was gonna put it on at one of our systems, but um, yeah, I'll figure that out, out later. 
Too much work. Beautiful, beautiful. So whether it be the small skimmers or the big skimmers, you know uh, the team here at Aquamarine Aquaristic are going to be able to hook you up. And of course, come on in store and check out these beautiful display tanks because um, there's more than uh, one can take in on one visit here. But uh, you definitely want to come in and have a look, see these things in person yourself because as much as I do my best with the camera, there's some things that just cannot be replicated that uh, you see with the eye. So, um, well, thank you so much for taking time Thanks out of much. your busy day to uh, let us mic you up and take us through this incredible store. I know um, I always have a great time coming here and I'm sure my viewers are going to really appreciate the uh, tour. Well, hopefully either check out your website or even better come on in person and check out these tanks themselves. So, um, thanks again, Jacob, and uh, you. appreciate you giving us the time. Thanks very much. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the tour of Aquamarine Aquaristic with Jacob. Unfortunately, reef stock has fallen over in Australia this year, so all of the plans the team had put in place to take some of those jaw-dropping corals up to Sydney to show off at reef stock have now sort of... I guess they've halted a little bit, but for locals or people that want to jump on the Aquamarine Aquaristic website and purchase these corals for shipping, it's possibly good news because you're going to get your chance to grab these corals a little bit sooner than waiting till August. So I highly recommend everyone does jump on the website, which I'll put down here and also a link in the description so you guys can find it. Have a look at their what you see, what you get corals, as well as some of their signature SBS, which I personally like. And of course, don't be afraid to check out their CO2 scrubbing media it is what I use myself and I did stock up while I was in store there if you've got any questions comments feedback anything at all for myself or the team at AMA feel free to pop it in the comment section down below because I do personally reply to each and every comment and um, just before I wrap up I will say that I know you guys have been asking for it and tomorrow I will give you a very detailed update on my dream reef tank which has now been running for about two and a half years so um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning for that video anyway guys till next time Time. Stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.